time. Battery's been connected all night. Laptop's been unplugged from the wall, but look at that. So it apparently is working. Two green LEDs, power and ignition, and then some communication stuff. Usually those communication lights stay red solid. So I don't know what's going on. It's like maybe a unit has reset. Long story short, I logged in. I loaded IMPA load instead of IMPA IPO. I don't know if they're the same thing or not, but here I am in the, um, what, airbag? So, identification. Hey, it's working. Oh, look, supplier, Mercedes Benz Benz. 11, 12, 94. It's beautiful. The loudest highway ever. Um, I don't know why it's not, there we go. So, last time I was here, I hit F10 to get out and then it froze. So F10 to get out. Let's try shift F5. Engine 3.3. Language variants do not match. Malfunction possible. So far, data manufacturer, see it says it doesn't, doesn't seem to know. But if I go identification, all the year and everything's all screwed up. No idea why that would be. But, uh, that's the DME that came with the car. So it's kind of neat to see. I always want to hit escape. Let's do this one more time. Shift F5. Jesus, Murphy. See, suddenly there's dump trucks everywhere. Maybe the dump trucks driving by are helping this. ABS. Hey, hey, hey. Data manufacturer, 44th week, 94. Uh, your uh, error memory F4. Read error memory. Two faults, it looks like. Two errors in memory. Uh, vehicle speed. Oh. Stuff's being activated there. That's exciting. Error frequency, vehicle speed, vehicle speed. So, ASC passive, ABS control passive, stop light switch off, ASC control passive. Don't know what those are. Error 221 and 225. No, error frequency 221, error frequency 225. Don't know. Result 64 and 30. So wheel sensor rear left and continuous control. Interesting. I think the rear ABS is disconnected right now. The rear uh, connectors back there. So that's probably what this is. So far, this is pretty exciting though. I mean, it seems to be working. Um, and it's not going to work again next time I want it to. So clear error memory. Memory has been cleared. Read error memory. Oh, Flieger speaking lesson, job status error. Don't know. So let's get out of here. Stop processing. Script processing. No, I don't want any of this. It's funny, something keeps activating and deactivating. So get out of here. Shift of five. Let's go back to airbag, see if this is still working. Identification error. So something broke after I cleared the memory. So now it's not working. And I bet you those red LEDs are on solid. One of them is on solid. Usually there's two that are on solid. Oh, it's doing a little bit of flickery flashing. See that one LED that's flashing is usually the one that shows communications. Every time I tried to do something, it would flash and say, no, can't do it. So either way, I tried to reset the codes in the ABS, and now it's no longer talking. Isn't that exciting? So, what the heck's going on? Info. Ah, you see all the directories are gone. So something screwed up, and it's lost information on the directories. So I've been told don't disconnect info when you're connected to the car. So first what I'll do... Oh, these trucks. cables everywhere is I'll disconnect this from the car and you see two green LEDs power and ignition and the one red LED if I disconnect it I can reconnect it nothing's gonna change never does and that one red LED is still on so there's like a system hang up somewhere so whatever I'll leave that off I'll go close input and uh, that's that so that, that was a bit of the video or a bit of the car working 
pretty exciting. I was able to get in and read an airbag and look at some ABS, get some faults and hit reset and then it didn't work. So again I hit input load. Uh, thanks Sobek for that. I usually hit input.ipo or whatever. But uh, again I load this and it says ignition and battery are on or battery ignition, whatever. So I come back here and when I connect it, it'll still know that they're on. Got to have a better extension cable or something. Do the thing where you just connect when I tell you to. There we go. Oh, two red LEDs on now. And that's basically it showing the system crashed. At least that seems to be the case. So again, I'll go, regardless, I'll go into the computer here and see what's going on. Info should be back, the right directories. It knows where to look for everything. Um, focus. So if I do shift at five, E38, body, airbag, identification error program will be stopped. Oh boy, hugely frustrating.